Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 25th of April. I'm James Spann. Nice to see the sun back today. Temperatures are below average. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at about 5 o'clock. That's the Birmingham Skycam looking north in the Daniel Building. Look at downtown Tuscaloosa from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse and a nice look at downtown Fayette. They're in the 30s in Fayette early this morning. Wow. All right. The trough is on by. That's the one that pushed the cold front through, front through late yesterday. And yeah, look at the 30s on that board. 37 for Fort Payne, 38 for Coleman, 36 in Haleyville. And if you cross the state line, Oxford, Mississippi is reporting a freeze this morning. They've got 32. But mostly 40s elsewhere. Birmingham was at uh, 46. And around the nation, you know what? It's just hard to find any warm weather. I mean, cold air covers much of the continental United States early this morning. And we've got frost and freeze advisories from Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, over into parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina. We'll be cold again tomorrow morning, uh, much like this morning. We'll see the colder pockets going in the 30s. All right, uh, convective outlooks. Now, this is tomorrow. Uh, Friday, a small slight risk around the Arklatex region. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, we have low end 5% probabilities into parts of Alabama. And the weather turns unsettled this weekend. We'll talk about that as we go through modeling here in just a moment. And this is the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through Thursday morning of next week. Numbers are coming on up. This is suggesting many spots around here could pick up two inches of rain over the next seven days. So let's look. This is modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. We note uh, energy around the Great Lakes. We note uh, energy over Arizona. But around here, the air dry and will be nice and quiet today. The high should be in the upper 60s. And that's about 10 degrees below average. Uh, very low humidity. Tomorrow, the morning is going to be cold. I, again, like this morning, I think the colder pockets visit the 30s. Most spots in the low 40s. Uh, the day should be sunny. We rise into the mid to upper 70s. Now, Saturday, we've got this disturbed flow. You can see a little just a series of waves lined up in the southern branch of the jet stream. And uh, that first wave will likely bring uh, some rain to Alabama uh, during the day Saturday. This is suggesting the most widespread rain could be over the northern half of the state with only limited number of showers down south. And again, we're not saying it's going to rain all day, but it could rain at any time during the day. This is the instability, the surface-based cape on Saturday. This is actually Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of marginal. The bigger cape values are west and southwest of here, but certainly there could be some thunder, but I don't think we have any issues with severe weather with numbers like that. Uh, Sunday, same deal. The air stays pretty moist. Have a pretty good chance of showers, maybe some thunder. And uh, high should be in the 70s over the weekend. Now, uh, the GFS is coming around to the idea that we'll be, we will be drier early next week on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, this is showing drier air moving in here and basically a dry day Monday. And we're going to start to trim back the uh, chance of showers and the same thing on Tuesday. So for now, we've still got the chance of scattered showers in the forecast, but we might be able to take that out if this trend keeps up. And we should warm up with highs around 80. And then Wednesday, here comes the next system. Uh, showers will likely increase. And this is a week from today, a big trough really north of here. Little energy down around Mobile Bay. And there's the surface chart, a cold front coming in with a good chance of showers and storms. And look at the cold air moving into places like Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and Chicago. It's just cold up there on the second day of May. And uh, we notice secondary low on the front down around Mobile. We'll just kind of keep an eye on that. This thing is a week out, so it's just too early to tell if there'll be any severe weather problems. And then that following weekend looks cool and dry. This is uh, Saturday evening, May 4th. This is race weekend at Talladega. A lot of things are happening that weekend. Uh, weather looks nice. Not as cold as other runs. We've seen some runs that try and push maybe some record lows in here. This run, not as cold. It would be very nice that weekend. Just low humidity, delightful if this holds up. End of the forecast, this is May 10th. 
little batch of showers there, but the good news, no sign of any big severe weather issues over the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.